what the Lord is doing in China. But you need to keep going on the journey of waiting for the protection. Amen. How's everybody doing this evening? But the top of the world is here to die. I have some gifts for you. Uh, I had uh, the opportunity to meet with the uh, president of uh, Oral Roberts University, which is the largest Pentecostal university in the world. And I was uh, I was hoping they gave me a couple million dollars, but instead they gave me these really cool bracelets. And I wanted to bless you guys here. You can have these bracelets, and I'm just going to throw them out here. So, catch. My teacher boy will walk side by side as I jump. Slowly. 
They said, you know, what's the best thing that Jesus ever said? And my friend, he thought a while, and he said, well, I don't know what the best thing Jesus ever said was. But I do know the last thing that he said. You shall receive power after the Holy Ghost has come upon you. And how many of you know that your last words are your most important words? Before somebody dies, they always want to know what were their last words. And the last words that Jesus gave was tarry ye in Jerusalem until you be endued with power from on high. What that means is he said after you get saved, don't do anything else until you receive power from on high. But some of us get become Christian and we're, we're, we're Christian for five years and we haven't received the power. The very first thing you should do when you get saved is you should tarry and wait for the power to come. And the Bible says in the book of Acts chapter 2 that when they were in the day of Pentecost when they were all together and they were in one place and they were in one accord, there came a sound from heaven. And they were all filled with the Holy Ghost and they began to speak with other tongues. Nobody had to lay hands on them. Nobody had to pray for them. But as they prayed, they were filled with the Holy Spirit. Then in Acts chapter, later on in that chapter, Peter got up and he began to preach about what just happened. And he told all those around him, he said, Repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus, and you shall receive the same power. And we want you to receive this power here today. So tonight I would like to invite everyone out of their chairs to come down to the front. The last thing that Jesus said is, you shall receive power. That word power actually in the Greek means miracles or the ability. And in verse 39 it says, this promise is for you and your children and as all that are afar off, even as many as our Lord God shall ever call. So it's not just for some people at some time. But this promise of the Holy Spirit is for each and every one of you. And the Bible says that they began to do miracles. And in verse 43 it says, Great fear came upon every soul, and many wonders and signs were done by the apostles. This gift of the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking other tongues is for every single person that God will ever call on our own.
thank you for praying for us.